Hi, this is episode 69 of Crondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. I have a number of passions. However, few of them compare to my drive for learning. Whether it's understanding new coding techniques or increasing my knowledge of the world as a whole, learning is definitely my true passion. With that in mind, today I want to discuss the question of whether or not artificial intelligence algorithms can improve education. As a quick spoiler alert, yes they can. AI will not only assist in making education better, but will revolutionize it from the ground up. Over the past few years, we've witnessed a dramatic shift in the educational space. No longer is having a traditional university degree the requirement that it once was. Nowadays, individuals can attend a coding boot camp and get a great development job within a few months. However, the changing landscape of education is nothing compared to what we'll see happen over the next coming years. So how exactly can algorithms improve education? Let's take a look at how school works right now. And even though my daily focus is on teaching students how to code, I'm going to give a more basic case study. My 11-year-old daughter Christine is about to go into middle school. I'm going to walk through her educational experience to establish a base case for how students are taught today. When Christine gets to school, she'll be supplied with a textbook for each of her courses. Because of how the educational system is formulated, her curriculum was picked by various school boards that we'll probably never even know. So what's wrong with this approach to learning? Tamron Ansari, a former school book editor, posted this on Edutopia and said, textbooks are a core part of the curriculum, as crucial to the teacher as a blueprint is to the carpenter. So one might assume that they are conceived, researched, written, and published as unique contributions to advancing knowledge. In fact, most of these books fall far short of their important role in the educational scheme of things. They are processed into existence using the pulp of what already exists, rising like swamp things from the compost of the past. The mulch is turned and trended by many layers of editors who scrub it of anything possibly objectionable before it's fed into the government-run adoption system that provides mediocre material to students of all ages. Those are some pretty strong words but also very accurate. The thing that bothers me is that we tell our kids that they are unique and special in their own way. However, we hand them a generic approach to learning. With this approach, it shouldn't be a shock when they struggle in school. With the advancements made in the AI sector, there's no reason for students to keep suffering from generic learning patterns, which have proven to produce suboptimal results for years. Let's take a step back from the challenges with the current educational process, and I'm going to walk through what machine learning is. TechTarget gives the following definition about machine learning. Machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence that provides computers with the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning focuses on the development and computer programs that can teach themselves how to grow and change when exposed to new data. With this definition in mind, I think that there is a clear path to understanding how AI can improve the educational process. Instead of giving students generic curriculum, give them digital textbooks with knowledge engines. These machine learning algorithms would then learn from the student's performance and create content based off of their needs. For example, let's imagine my daughter struggling with long division. I don't really have to imagine that too hard, because she does. The textbook would analyze her performance and it would automatically generate a learning curriculum based on her specific needs that's different from the person that she's sitting next to in class. The key is that it would work with her instead of simply running through the same lessons as every other student. Even though this concept may seem like it belongs in a Harry Potter book as opposed to our modern day classroom, I can assure you that it's very practical. 
When I was younger, my parents hired a brilliant tutor named Paul Oppenheimer. Mr. Oppenheimer, who went on to work for Stanford, essentially functioned like my own personal machine learning algorithm. He would analyze my performance and then give a custom set of lessons based on my knowledge. And I owe a debt of gratitude for his instruction, which helped me turn into the computer scientist I am today. I wish that every student in the world was given a Stanford researcher as a tutor. However, machine learning algorithms may be the next best thing. We use my 11-year-old daughter as a case study for this guide. However, an AI approach to learning can be applied to any field. Notably, right now, a number of computer scientists and I are working on a machine learning system that will help teach aspiring developers how to code. The world of software development is incredibly complex, which you think would lead instructors to create unique learning programs. However, all too often schools and boot camps train individuals in a completely generic fashion. You, as an individual, have a unique set of triggers that can help you acquire knowledge. Therefore, your training curriculum should be dynamically generated based off of your specific needs. I hope that this has been a helpful discussion on the topic of algorithms improving education. Please feel free to contact me if you're interested in being included in the work that I'm doing, and hopefully we can help take the educational space to the next stage of evolution.